Hey, welcome back to Inside the Vandals. Well, the men's and women's basketball teams were back in action on the hard court this past weekend in Moscow. Alyssa Charleston recaps the action. When the Idaho Vandals left the Western Athletic Conference, the women's basketball team certainly did not leave behind their intense rivalry with Seattle University. The Red Hawks came out fiery, and the Vandals didn't have a lead until the final seconds of the game. Jerry McCorkle was huge for the Vandals, scoring 22 points, leading the Vandals to their four-year dominance of the Red Hawks. Seattle U came into Memorial Gym with a chip on their shoulder, and it showed. The Red Hawks dominated the first half of the game as Idaho struggled from the field. You know, the last games, few games we've had with these guys, they're all these wars, and I told those freshmen, welcome to the rivalry with Seattle and, <laughs> and Idaho, man, because that's the way it is. But it would be the second half heroics of Jerry McCorkle that riled up a decimated Thanksgiving crowd. McCorkle scored 20 of her career-high 22 points, all in the second half, and helped bring the Vandals within striking distance. They overcame an 11-point deficit at the end of the game to win 64-60. to McCorkle went 6 of 10 from the field and 3 of 4 from three-point range in the second half. She added four blocks and three steals, both career highs. You know, she stays after practice every single day and takes extra shots, shot after shot after shot. To see that hard work rewarded, is it's fantastic for her. That late game surge started when Idaho went on a 13-0 run to close the final minute 49. Senior Christina Salvatore started the run for the Vandals, hitting her 4-3 of the night. Senior leadership, you know, her and Connie and Allie, man, they've been through the wars, especially with Seattle U, you know, and uh, like I told them, that was, that was like the championship games we had with those guys in Las Vegas, and, uh, you know, the experience really paid off for us, because Seattle's tough, man, they're, and they're offensively, they're as skilled as I've ever seen them. McCorkle followed up with a three of her own to cut the Red Hawk lead to three with a minute 27 to play. Salvatore then brought Idaho within one with 59 seconds to go. And when you're feeling it, you're feeling it. McCorkle stepped back at the top of the arc and launched the go-ahead shot that found the bottom of the net with 16.2 to play. Senior Connie Ballestero snagged the rebound off a missed Seattle U jumper, securing this comeback win in the books for Idaho. Next up for the Vandals is a trip to Cancun, Mexico to take part in the Cancun Challenge. Idaho will open play with 14th ranked Duke on November 26th. The Vandals will also face Texas State and Iowa State while down in Mexico. And the Vandal men have posted back-to-back -back wins, handling Linfield at home on Sunday and then on the road with a late game 6-0 run that they held on to to defeat North Texas 65-63 on their own court. The Vandals will face Troy and Samford to close out the Mean Green Showcase before returning home on Saturday evening. For Inside the Vandals, this is Alyssa Charleston. Hey, thanks Alyssa for that piece. Well, it's that time of the year with Thanksgiving season in full swing. We had a chance to catch up with some of the different Vandal athletes to hear what they're thankful for. I want to start by wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I hope they have the opportunity to spend time with their family. Uh, and what I'm thankful for is my family. Uh, I'm so blessed to have so many people that care about me, including my teammates, uh, extended family and friends. It's just a, a blessing to have them in my life. I'm definitely thankful for my family. Um, thankful for my dad. He's working up in North Dakota in the cold and he's able to supply the money and the finances for my mom or my brother to come, and come to every game this year. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to, have, enough to have a family member at every game this year, so I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful for the fact that I get to come to another country and play the sport that I love. I am thankful for my family, everyone in my family. I am thankful for sleep and tea. I am thankful for my cat, Jax. I am thankful for my heater blanket. I am thankful for, do I just keep naming? I'm definitely thankful for uh, the opportunity that the coaches gave me to play here at University of Idaho. I'm thankful for uh, the staff and the support that we get here uh, in the Dome. And I'm also thankful for uh, Gambinos. Um, the fact that we get to like, travel across good. the U.S. I'm thankful for my family, for my just, friends, like, with the people and that we get to go to Cancun for Thanksgiving. It's just, like, really I'm fun. really thankful that, that my family's healthy. I think um, I'm thankful for uh, my friends Jason and family being a big part of our warm program. Uh, <laughs> I'm thankful for I, I'm being a part of the basketball team. My family's healthy. Uh, family friends. That, uh, I just haven't gotten my, my friends. For I'm most thankful part for the morning and, workouts that uh, make me strong. Uh, I'm thankful for $10 cheeses at Papa Murphy's Pizza. They, they I'm thankful for granted. And then when you get a great guy like Jace Malik in your life that doesn't have the great. The, the best health, but he's got the best personality. Having your family and your friends and your loved ones uh, be healthy, I think, is what I'm most thankful for. 
Hey, that wraps it up for this week's edition of Inside the Vandals and wraps it up for this season as well. well thank you so much for tuning in this football season as we were able to look back on what the Vandals did. Make sure to tune in next season as well during basketball season as we'll be hearing from Don Verlin, head coach of the Vandal men's basketball team, and John Newley, head coach of the women's basketball team on a weekly basis. Until then, make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We'll see you next time.